guys i know it has been a long time since i put together a nail video but finally the time has come and as you can see my nails are looking healthy they're looking strong they're looking well maintained and to be honest even though it's been a while since you guys have heard from me in regards to my nails they have been in very very good condition so i'm going to share a few things with you today let's get into it Hey guys, it's your girl Miss Annie J and I know that when it comes to my nails, it has been a long while. I know, I know. You guys have not seen my nails for a hot minute. I even don't remember the last time I published a nail video. So today I just wanted to do a bit of a small recap because things have been going pretty well. La 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 nails 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 i mean my nails are they're healthy they're strong they look good <laughs> so what has changed so even though you guys haven't seen me do a nail video for quite some time my nails have been taken care of okay they have taken a back seat obviously in terms of youtube but in my personal life i've still been maintaining them looking after them and just generally caring for them making sure that they're in a good place I do have a little success story to report and that is that drum roll please i rarely use my mavala hardener yes the one that i talk about in all of my nail videos now there is a reason for this and i'm going to get into that shortly but the tea is i've not been using any products on my nails i've just been filing them nail polish and I go about my business now my reason for reducing my use of mavala is that my nails have been growing steadily they're strong they're healthy and so i basically was just trying to avoid overkill don't get me wrong the mavala hardener is definitely the reason why my nails are how they are today it got my nails to a very solid place of strength Back in the day when my nails were brittle, when I used to go to the nail salon and do acrylics and things like that, and I took those off and my nails were just a complete mess. My good friend told me about the Mavala nail hardener and I started to use it. And this was quite some time ago. I used it consecutively for ages. I, I can't even really give you guys a, a timeline. But once I realized and noticed that my nails are now at a point where they are solid, they're strong. I thought I don't need to be using it as frequently. If you watch one of my previous nail videos and you did purchase the Mavala hardener and you're in the process of using it, I would recommend using it until your nails are restored. And then after that, it's more just on a every now and again basis. So I could probably count on one hand, it being September, how many times I've used the Mavala hardener this year. And it is probably about three times in nine months and even despite that look at the condition of my nails they're in really good shape and I don't actually use anything now apart from the one-off occasion when I do apply the Mavala I just use my clear nail polish to protect them I don't actually do anything with my nails apart from file and maintain them so you guys have heard me give so many hints and tips about nail care and how to bring the best out of your nail growth well today based on my own nail care life i wanted to re-emphasize for me what i feel are the top three tips for nail care so let's get straight to it my first top tip and this is something that i absolutely live by is always make sure that you are applying nail polish to your nails even if it is clear polish like myself I don't have the time to decorate my nails with colours and what have you. My life is so busy. So the best that I've been able to do for the best part of this year is just use clear nail polish. And the reason why I emphasise that is because it is like a coat of protection on your nails. So I found that when I'm applying clear polish, I'm less likely to get chips and little cracks or small little damages on the surface of my nails which could end up resulting in a major chip or a crack and then obviously nail breakage for me applying nail polish to protect my nails is so important and you will always find me even if i'm not doing anything fancy with my nails i'm always going to have clear nail polish on them at the very least and i always apply two coats tip number two 
always carry a nail file. When you're outdoors, away from home, I mean, you know, if you're a commuter, you get on transport, you just don't know if you may hit your hand on something or swipe something or brush your hand past something that could create a small chip or a crack. Having a nail file to hand helps deal with those sort of mini emergencies immediately. So I've always got a nail file on me, whether it's in my handbag, in my car. You guys have heard me talk about this so many times. I even would keep one at my place of work in the past. So having a nail file with you is necessary. If I'm out and I get a small chip, I can deal with it there and then. And it prevents my nail from going into full on breakage and helps me to sustain my nail growth. Tip number three, ladies, when we are cleaning, please wear protective gloves. Okay. You want to protect your nails when you are doing the dishes, the hoovering, cleaning the bathroom. If you're like me, I'm a bit OCD. I'm always cleaning here or there. So I cannot emphasize this point enough. Protect your nails when you are cleaning. In the past, for me, that's when I've experienced the most amount of breakages because, you know, I've just pick something up too vigorously or yeah and even for ladies those of you like me with the with the afro hair going on I would also recommend wearing latex or non-latex gloves when you're dealing with your hair like now I have to do it because my hair is at a point where I don't even really brush it so it is naturally in its full knotty form and if I try and get my hands through this I mean I'll be lucky if I come out with like two nails at the length that they were before I put my hands in there. So again, that is just something else that I would emphasize when you're doing your cleaning and for ladies of African American black heritage with Afro hair, latex gloves, or if you're allergic, non-latex gloves. As per my previous post, if you are somebody who likes to get your nails done and you are deciding to convert from the fake nail life into the natural nail life, then Mavala is going to be very handy for you. Because when I took my fake nails off, my nails were so brittle, so weak, didn't really grow. They had splits everywhere. It was just an absolute disaster. I mean, it took like a whole nail cycle for them to recover, as in like all of this, the whole thing over time needed to grow out. And then I started to experience some form of like normal nail growth. But to accelerate that, I use the Mavala nail hardener. So if you're at that stage, I would recommend using it as per their recommendation. I think when I was recovering my nails from the acrylic life, I was using the Mavala quite regularly. And as my nails got stronger and stronger, I reduced the usage. And like I've said, now that they're in such a really good place, I barely use it at all because I don't want to overkill. And the other thing to bear in mind is to check the ingredients of the product because you want to ensure that you're not allergic to anything. You know, for those of you who are very health and body conscious, my friend made me aware that they put things in these products that aren't always like friendly to our body. I mean, I feel like that is probably the case with most of the things that we use in life. But that said, it's just to bring your awareness to it in case you're somebody who would want to check that before using it. So depending on the quality of your nails is what will determine the level of usage of Mavala Nail Hardener. Ladies, I'm keeping this one short and sweet. If you want to see more of my nail videos in detail, I have a playlist on my nail videos where I show you routines, me using the Mavala Hardener, talking through it, giving more detailed hints and tips, Definitely check those out if you want to know more about nail maintenance because I have got a lot of good stuff in there. It's your girl Miss Annie J. It's a bright new day, you're here with your girl Miss Annie J. I'm gonna give them what they want because I came to slay and nothing's ever gonna take my joy away. Uh, I'm about that life.